A neighborhood in Cane Bay is on edge after another report of a teenage girl being assaulted. Deputies say it happened Saturday on a trail in the Sanctuary Cove neighborhood behind Bella Vista Court. It comes a week after the first report on November 27th. A web write explains what Berkeley County Sheriff's Office is doing. You don't expect any high crime or especially anything like this. Rachel Jones lives in Pine Hills and walks these quiet paths, but now she's a little more cautious. It was definitely at the forefront of my mind and I'm keeping my head on a swivel. Many neighbors in Cane Bay are staying aware after a second report of a teenage girl assaulted after dark. Detectives have been working around the clock. We have some forensic evidence that we're uh, taken to the state crime lab, the sled lab in Columbia. While the first attack happened more than a week ago, the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office didn't come forward to the public until after the second attack because the second victim was able to give them a description of the alleged attacker. White male in his late teens, maybe early 20s, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, skinny build with some type of facial hair on his chin. At the time, we had no identifiable suspect, no description, no clothing, nothing. I understand the, the citizen's concern. If I don't have any information, I can't put just put out that a teenager was assaulted. Sheriff Dwayne Lewis says they've taken extra precautions in Cane Bay. We brought a canine, extra canine units in. They were there that night. We've had deputies on ATVs, on golf carts. We've had them on foot. We also have plain clothes, undercover deputies in unmarked vehicles. Still, authorities say they also need the public's help. We're relying on a lot of the public's help with their uh, cameras from their homes. I need them to make sure their, their teenagers and, and children are not on those trails after dark. Working for you, Webright News 4.